Hey guys, Jakobs here again. Today I want to show you some basic chords. Uh, it's another request by um, a fellow Quokla player, or let's say uh, Quokla beginner, someone who wants to learn Quokla and who has given me a question. Uh, I want to remind you guys, you can uh, put questions in uh, YouTube or send me in Facebook or, or my email and I'm gonna see how can I answer them and put in YouTube as a small training or, or, or a how-to video so you can learn it. I wanted to tell before that, before showing uh, how to play basic chords, um, how, how you should keep your posture when you're um, playing Quokla or learning Quokla, how you should keep your hands um, and how to pull the strings. It's very good to see people playing uh, with straight back, yeah? so basically, well, this is straight back, you can see all my room here, yeah? all the funny stuff for the beach that we have, <laughs> so with a straight back playing is a lot better, it looks better for people, it feels better for you, especially if you practice a lot of time. A lot of people tend to go down and focus a lot on their kuokle and they get crooked back, which is quite bad because one, from one aspect it's, it will get sore and also you will look kind of weird and unhappy or whatever. So try to hold it either flat in your um, lap or against your belly if you feel confident with it. But at first you will probably want to keep it in your lap. Yeah, yeah obviously there is one thing. If you are writing with your right hand, you want to put your left hand for the chords. Yeah? The left hand is for the chords, the right one is for pulling the strings. When you take your hand, you kind of want to make as if you are holding your index finger as a pen. So hold an apple both in your uh, hand that you pull the strings with and in the hand you put the chords on. So kind of imagine you have an apple there because if you don't, uh, you will block some strings if they're too close. You can't hear that or sometimes you just touch some strings, some will sound and some will not. Uh, if you can, you can rest your hand on the on the pegs. It kind of helps sometimes, but it depends how you hold your quokla. If you hold your quokla like this in your lap, how I would suggest you do at the beginning, you try to keep this distance from the strings and from the pegs. Uh, kind of relax your hand. There's no need to be stressed or press the strings too hard just relax your hand and keep keep the fingers on the strings it will take time to have this kind of finger memory uh, to settle in where your fingers want to go on the quokle but yeah this time just remember about the two apples in your hands why you don't want to hold finger like this is I've seen before people play like this yeah? firstly it doesn't really look that well secondly it's harder to play um, a bit more advanced later and it's a habit that needs breaking later so rather stick stick with this it's easier to play other um, techniques as well then. and um, if your finger gets uh, sore or painful, and that will happen because your fingers are soft and not used to the strings, you can use the middle finger as well. In that case, you want to hold it either like this, or so here it is. Eh? So. sounds slightly differently yeah? but if you pull all the way up you don't really need that especially if you have more strings than I do I have only 10 strings and if I have 11 12 or 13 strings then it would sound really weird another mistake that I've seen so far is that uh, people try to in the beginning especially yeah, press the hand really strongly on the, on the strings so they kind of 
kind of press really strongly you know and not even pay attention to that and you can see how strings are pressing into the fingers yeah you don't really want to press that much you only need to hold like put the finger onto the string you know you don't need to press the string to make it silent a little bit about the tuning here you can see the basic chords how they look like on a tab um, here you can see the kuokle how it sits in your lap so basically you see the longest string is at the top and the shortest is at the bottom so that's the same way you have to read the, the tab here's the longest string here's the shortest string this is for 11 strings kuokle because it tends to be the most popular in Latvia so I'm um, drawing it like that uh, if there is less strings, then you just take take them off from the bottom. Like for example, if it's nine strings, you know, then you go all the way to the here, to here, to this string here yeah, for the chord reading. If it's like twelve or thirteen, then you add here C D E and F, yeah. So then it would be E here, and there would be F here. Right. So here you can see uh, the left hand. The, the one that you put chords with, um, how it's split, how the fingers are split into numbers. So the thumb is number one, and accordingly you can see that the thumb always goes here. Yeah. Pretty much for all basic chords, the thumb stays in the same place, which is kind of good. Um, and see, here you can see the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. So as you will see in the next uh, following game yeah, in this video you will see uh, how to put uh, a DM chord, yeah? but that's how you read it. This would be the thumb, index finger, middle finger, uh, ring finger and uh, pinky. Um, GAB tuning. Uh, why it's GAB tuning? So basically this is G string yeah, and A string. So these are two drone strings. And this is a string that uh, sometimes can be just B Sometimes it's B flat or A sharp, yeah. So this flat, yeah, sign basically means this thing here. If it's just G A, then it would be G A, yeah, and here would be just B, yeah. So it's uh, I think it's called C uh, major um, uh, tuning here. Yeah? Basically, these are the main strings, and these are the drone strings. Okay, so remember, this is how you see Quokla in your lap, when you look from the above. And this is the longest string, this is the shortest string. Uh, you can see this picture and print it out from my homepage, pikuns.com. And you can use it, if it's easier for you, just put it in front of you and work with it. Okay, so the first um, the chord that I always teach for kids and grown-ups is uh, DM, or... Um, at a minor so I'm trying to kind of find an angle where you could actually see the strings as well it's a little bit complicated but let's, let me show you so basically this is the first string second string third string fourth string maybe you can see in the reflection here so DM chord is the easiest one so this is the first string you can see here yeah? uh, the longest string and that's where you put your pinky then you skip one string and put on the second one, skip one, put on the second one, skip one, and so on. So basically you have all your five fingers on the strings with one string between them. The next one you probably want to learn is C. So you would leave your thumb where it is and the rest of the fingers would move one string down. It sounds easy, but if you haven't done it before, it's quite complicated. You can try putting one finger at a time, which kind of makes it easier. But I would uh, suggest you try slowly, do it like this, slowly. Just lift all your fingers, move them together, and you're going to get them on the right strings. Here you go, like this, and like this. Like this, and like this. That's DM, and that's C. Uh, the next one is F that I would like to show you. So basically this finger, the fourth and the first finger, they stay on the same place from C and the rest of, rest of the fingers go up and move one string up. Okay, this one is 
getting complicated already. <laughs> so also, uh, just as I said before, do it slowly. Lift them up, put them down. You can practice like that. Lift them up, put them down. And you will get it faster later. From DM it's a lot easier, you just move this finger down. So if you check the tab, you can see how it actually looks like. So this is DM, this is F. Yeah? This is C, this is F. So these three chords are very widely used in Latvian traditional folk songs. Um, and I, in a brief moment I will show you a couple of more. At first, try to practice with two chords only, for example, D, M and C, uh, they are very good chords to start with, and uh, uh, as you feel more confident, like you can change very, them very easy, you can move on to changing them to F, uh, A, M, um, what was it, another one, and G, and you can mix them, for example, G, F, G, D, M, so this is how I would suggest you to um, start with. So one, two, three, four, that was DM, now it's C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, the finger is like a pen, and in both hands you have an apple. So it would look like this more or less. would recommend to play um, with pulling the strings four times each chord so you can have time to think about the next chord how you're gonna put it there and uh, yeah just take it easy it's quite it's quite relaxed really playing quarkle and when you get really advanced you know you can put more effort into its speed you know and, and, and complicated techniques and stuff like that but in the beginning take it really slowly really easy and enjoy the sound get familiar with the sound of the quarkle the next chord is G so if you have DM here remember one string empty one string empty one string empty one string empty and that's a thumb yeah that's DM uh, remember um, how easy it was to put from D M to F. It's similar with G. So if you have D M here, G is like this. D M, G. Uh, here is C. And G would be. It's only three fingers moving from C. Eh? From F it's a bit more complicated, so here's F, and here's G. So you have to move this finger away, and this finger away. Yeah. This is F, this is G, this is F, this is G. It takes practice, obviously, a lot of practice. But that's also a basic chord, G. Another one that I would like to show you is A, uh, A minor, sorry. So it's like F, it's just this finger is moving closer to the index finger. Yeah? So this is F, this is A M, yeah? this is D M, this is A M. You see how fingers are moving from D M. It's quite easy. A lot of chords, uh, if you start with D M, are easy to change from C. And rarely, but you might want to change from G to AM as well. Here you go. So yeah, these are the basic chords. I remember DM, C, F, G and AM. The most common mistake is trying to play as, you know, like faster, change the chords faster or whatever. And you don't really want to do that. You want to uh, change them really slowly in the beginning and naturally as you go on you will start playing faster. So go as slow as you can, don't rush it, enjoy the sound, you know, listen to the quarkless sound and enjoy the vibration because 
um, if you if you rush it, you get frustrated, you know, you get stressed, you know, you don't really enjoy it that much, you know, and it kind of slows down the progress as well. So if you go slower in the beginning, the better it will be for you. Peace and love. Enjoy playing the Korkla. See you till the next time. Bye-bye.